Is everyone ready to get started? Yeah. Great. All right. Well, here we go. Hopefully everyone can hear me okay. So good evening, Sister Carol, members of cabinet, students, advisors, faculty, staff, family, and friends. On behalf of the student life staff, I welcome you to the first ever virtual student leadership award ceremony. Tonight, many of our wonderful student leaders will be recognized for their dedication, hard work, and outstanding leadership. This is certainly not how we envision tonight's ceremony. Under normal circumstances, we would be gathered together in the Redmond Room, enjoying dinner and dessert, celebrating accomplishments, and appreciating a beautiful spring day. Though there's a lot to miss about not gathering together, I can't help but focus on the things that we do have to celebrate. We are a strong community of leaders who have continuously expressed care and concern for one another during extraordinary times. We are creative problem solvers who have developed virtual programming to engage students, faculty, and staff. And we are Griffins who have not been afraid to show our school spirit and our true colors. I want to take a moment to thank you all for attending tonight's ceremony. I know that many of you find yourselves engaged in a new balancing act. Some of you may be newfound caregivers and teachers for your younger siblings. Others may be working essential jobs and still others may be volunteering or fundraising to support the new challenges our world today presents. Your resilience and grace in handling these challenging times is humbling. So I wanted to say thank you. A few logistical notes. First, please make sure that you're on mute so that we're able to limit the amount of background noise and hear all of the awards. This ceremony is being recorded and will be shared with our community. If you wish to not appear in the recording, just simply turn off your video. All award winners will receive an electronic certificate after the ceremony. Returning students will receive their physical awards when we are allowed to return together to campus. And senior award winners will receive their awards at a small ceremony that will be held during rescheduled commencement activities. So now for some fun things. Given that we will all be on mute, uh, if you wish to offer an applause, you may select that applause emoji under the reaction section at the bottom of your screen. So for anyone not familiar, if you look at the bottom of your screen, if you're on a laptop, um, on the Zoom, there's a, a button that says reactions. If you click that, uh, there's a thumbs up and a clapping hands emoji. So when we announce the awards, if you wish to so show support, you can click on the applause emoji or even the thumbs up too, if you'd like. You're also welcome to write notes of congratulation in the chat feature for everyone to see, or you could directly message the award winner. Does anyone have any questions before we get started? Great, wonderful. All right, so I would like to begin the award ceremony by introdu introducing Libby Morrow, who will present the first year involvement award. The transition to college is definitely difficult. New students leave behind friends, family, and a familiar environment to join CHC's community. This award is presented to a first year student who has been actively involved in his or her first year at Chestnut Hill College. He or she has impacted the CHC community with their involvement, leadership, and enthusiasm. The nominees for the 2020 First Year Involvement Award are National Elite. Ochoa, Jessica Burnett, and Julia Strafacci. The 2020 First Year Student Involvement Award goes to Nashalit Ochoa. Nashalit is a valuable member of the Chestnut Hill College community. As a member of IDHP and Alpha Lambda Delta, she is as strong in her academic work as she is in her co-curricular involvement. She is the Executive Secretary for SGA, a member of the Archery Club, Mask and Foil, Hill Singers, and even began her own club, the Art Club. Nashalee is not only kind and thoughtful, but also incredibly proactive in what she does on campus. She has proven to be someone who strives for excellence in the classroom and is a genuinely friendly person, always ready to help anyone for any reason. We are sure she will do amazing things in her future years at Chestnut Hill. Please help us congratulate Nash Elite on this award. I would now like to introduce Andrea Boyle, who will present the Commuter of the Year Award. 
Hi, everyone. All right, so this award is presented to a commuter student who has been actively involved at Chestnut Hill College. He or she has made a significant impact by leaving his or her mark on all facets of the campus community. By traversing the city through SEPTA or battling Philadelphia traffic, this award recognizes a student who goes the extra mile to contribute to campus through community service, extracurricular involvement, and academic excellence. The nominees for the 2020 Commuter of the Year Award are Cassidy Van Zandt, Kamar Marshall, Anthony Consoli, Madison Slemmer, Maggie Baldini, and James Lewis. The 2020 Commuter of the Year Award goes to Kamar Marshall. Kamar, Ma Kamar is consistently pleasant, supportive, thoughtful, and resilient. He serves as campus ministry student program coordinator, participant on the spring break service experience, is a member of the Agape Latte student team, and is a halftime leadership summit student coordinator. He prioritizes self-care, academic focus, hard work, and friendship. He pauses in the hallways to speak with staff and faculty members and seems to never be without a smile. Please help us congratulate Kamar on this award. Congratulations, Kamar. I would now like to introduce Libby Morrow, who will present the Golden Griffin Award. The Griffin, our wonderful mascot, is a legendary creature with the body of a lion and the head and wings of an eagle. As the lion was traditionally considered the king of the beasts and the eagle was the king of the birds, the griffin is thought to be a specially powerful and majestic creature. This award is presented to a student who truly exemplifies school spirit through his or her involvement. The Golden Griffin shares his or her love of the college readily and is a shining example to all other students. The nominees for the 2020 Golden Griffin Award are Kerry Sullivan, Stephen Hogan, Matt Chesabal, Samantha Kovias, Devin Horner, Clarence Ferguson, Kira Altamari. The 2020 Golden Griffin Award goes to Stephen Hogan. Stephen is always the loudest voice supporting his classmates at CHC sporting events. He is the SAC Vice President and it recently wrote a testimony for Holy Week. In the past, he has been an orientation leader and coordinator and assisted in starting and leading a Bible study program through campus ministry. He is fun, welcoming, and caring. He has always been a supportive teammate and team player and, lo and has loved to be involved in all things CHC. Stephen truly is CHC's very own hype man. Please help us congratulate Stephen on this award. I would now like to introduce Ryan Murphy, who will present the Living the Mission Award. This award, inspired by our college's mission, is presented to a student who embodies our mission through their daily activities. This person is heavily involved in community service and inspires others by their actions around campus and out in the community. The winner of this award has engaged in a variety of selfless acts, not for recognition, but out of a desire to help others. The nominees for the 2020 Living the Mission Award are Kira Altamari, Carolina Perez, Christina Simone, Christopher Bunn. The 2020 Living the Mission Award goes to, my assistant is helping me, Kira Altamari. Kira embodies the spirit of the mission walking in our hallways. She is unfailingly kind and funny in her day-to-day -day interactions. She shows up ready for any work, any good work, to support the efforts of others. 
She has an amazing record of service in her home parish and community. She is also committed to academic excellence and the service of every kind of dear neighbor without distinction and the global community, all important aspects of our college's mission. During her time at Chestnut Hill College, Kira has been involved with student government, the 1650 Society, the IDHP Council, ALD, and the International Buddy Program. Please join me in congratulating Kira on this award. Next up, we welcome Nancy DeKille, who will present the Director's Award. This award is presented to the individual, student, or group who has performed some type of special event, program, or series of events that have helped to enhance college life here at Chestnut Hill College. This event or individual had a positive impact on the campus and deserves special recognition for this accomplishment. The nominees for the 2020 Director's Award are Hunter Angle for Science Tutoring, Kelly Liberona for Library Initiatives, Lisa Marston for Public Relations Activities. The winner of the 2020 Director's Award is Kelly Liberona. Kelly Liberona, the library is not a club, but Kelly has done an amazing job this year of making a place students will gravitate towards and where they will gather for help and support during their time at CHC. It is a place for relaxing with friends and having some fun while you get your work done. With evening events and contests, decor and decoration, she has helped create an even more warming and welcoming atmosphere in this essential place. Her creativity for events like Long Night Against Procrastination, a Hogwarts school, and book art making have truly enhanced the student library experience. Please help us congratulate Kelly on this award. And now I would like to introduce Larice Eldridge, who will present the Program of the Year Award. Hi, everybody. Um, the award, the Program of the Year Award is presented to a club or organization. Can everybody hear me? I just want to make sure. Okay. The Club of the Year Award is presented to a club or organization that truly executed a wonderful and dynamic program on or off campus. The program receiving this award will have had a tremendous impact on campus life. The members of the organization will have successfully planned the program from start to finish. In selecting a program from the many qualified options, we looked for a program that was creative and particularly inclusive of all members of the campus community. The 2020 Program of the Year nominees are Mask and Foil for Clue on Stage, Logue Library for Long Night Against Procrastination, and La Bosla The 2020 Program of the Year Award goes to Mask and Foil's Production of Clue. Mask and Foil's fall production of Clue on Stage provided comedic entertainment to the CHC community and beyond. Mask and Foil welcomes many new actors and actresses to this year's production. The cast and crew spent many long hours rehearsing and preparing for their performances. The club performed to a large crowd, great reviews, and lots of laughs. Please help us congratulate Mask and Foil on their award. I would now like to introduce Emily Shadman, who will present the Outstanding Student Organization of the Year Award. Thank you, Larice. This award is presented to the organization that is a shining example to all other student organizations on campus. The organization receiving this award will have focused on developing an effective leadership team and collaborating with other campus groups. The recipient of this award will have planned events that were inclusive of the entire college community and use the mission of the college as its guiding force. The 2020 Outstanding Student Organization of the Year nominees are the Archery Club, the Black Student Union, and La Voz Latina. And the 2020 Outstanding Student Organization of the Year goes to La Voz Latina. 
After a few very quiet years on campus, La Voz Latina has returned with great energy. La Voz Latina is a student organization dedicated to promoting and celebrating the Latin voice on campus. Through a mix of social and educational programming, La Voz Latina developed a schedule of thoughtful, creative, and inclusive events that help students to engage, learn, and support one another. A small sample of their 2019-2020 programs include Bachata Night, Latin Night in the Dining Hall, several movie and game nights, a wiffle ball tournament, and a trip to the Puerto Rican Day Parade in Philadelphia. These events are in addition to a vibrant, vibrant social media presence and a thoughtful community of organization members. La Voz Latina has truly had a profound impact on our community at CHC and its students. Thank you. Please help us to congratulate La Voz Latina on their award. I would now like to introduce Jen Thorpe, who will present the Advisor of the Year Award. Faculty and club advisors lead many of our great students throughout the year. They give insightful advice, attend events and meetings, and treat the club, club members as their own family. This award is presented to a faculty or staff advisor who has made significant contributions to co-curricular life here at CHC and has greatly impacted the development of his or her students. The 2020 Advisor of the Year nominees are Ann Liberona, somebody named Jen Thorpe, <laughs> Elliot Tamaro. The 2020 Advisor of the Year award goes to, and my envelope, I'm going to take out the paper. Woo, Ann Liberona! Anne is a supportive and thoughtful advisor for La Voz Latina and the Global Student Association and assists with the practical components of the roles, but she also goes above and beyond. She supports idea development and sharing, fosters creativity, and is always willing to lend a helping hand. She gives her student leaders space to make their own decisions, but is also not afraid to give feedback. She is a kind and vibrant spirit that adds to the CHC community in a positive way. Please help us congratulate Anne on her award. Woo -woo. I'd now like to introduce Dr. Lynn Ortali, who will present the Outstanding Student Leader of the Year Award. Thank you, Jen. Good evening, everyone. This award is presented to the student leader who best exemplifies leadership in a student organization. This person has held a leadership position in the past year, and he or she has played a large role in the success of his or her organization. This person has made a significant contribution to co-curricular campus life programming and has helped to lead his or her organization in a positive direction. The nominees for 2020 Outstanding Student Leader of the Year Award are Marcus Jimenez, Teddy Tabasco, Tiffany Kirby, Kiani Fiagero, Harry Davis, Maggie Baldini, and Maddie Jimenez. The winner of the 2020 Outstanding Student Leader of the Year is, you can hear the virtual drum roll, Kiani. For some students, the breadth of this involvement their involvement is the thing that is remarkable. But for, for Kiani, it is her depth of involvement that makes the difference. Kiani's commitment to the su success of Lavos Latino is exemplary. She is passionate about each and every event the club plans and is extremely thoughtful in making each and every decision. She is action oriented, a talented communicator, and a motivator of her peers. She is incredibly thoughtful about how to be inclusive of all, while making sure that the Latin voice is heard and celebrated on campus. Her ability to balance work, school, and leadership with a sense of grace is something to be admired. Please help us congratulate Kiani on this award. Congratulations. I would now like to introduce Dr. Krista Bailey Murphy, who will announce the recipients of the President's Leadership Award and Sister Carol will present the winners with their awards at a later date. Krista? Hello all. So I'm going to try to work two devices at once here, so bear with me if I slip up at all. 
The President's Leadership Award is one of the most prestigious leadership awards a student can receive at Chestnut Hill College. This award blends academics, leadership, and community service throughout all years of a student's college career. Leadership is more than just directing and delegating. It's about honor, integrity, character, and leading by example. And this is what this award, given in honor of our president, stands for. The award can be given out to a maximum of five graduating seniors. This year's nominees for the President's Leadership Award are Riley Bixby, Michaela Milking, Madison Slemmer, Samantha Cavias, Kira Altamari, Spencer Fitzgerald, Stephen Hogan, Jayla Welch, Stephanie Bronia, Matus Chebital, Christopher Bunn, Jennifer Miller, Haley Norwillow, Maria Ortali, Maggie Baldini, and Cleo Bell. And if I might add, that is a lot of nominees for the President's Leadership Award. So our class of 2020 have been a group of rock stars. So thank you for your service to us. So without further ado, the first President's Leadership Award goes to Jennifer Miller. During her time at CHC, Jen has served as an orientation leader, a leader of Mask and Foil, and a first-year getaway leader. She has been a member of the 1650 Society, attended numerous retreats, participated in a range of service trips, including the spring break trip to Appalachia, and can often be heard singing beautifully at Mass. Jen is a generous and friendly spirit whose smile and warmth will be missed on campus. Congratulations, Jen. The next President's Leadership Award goes to Samantha Cavias. Sam has gone above and beyond to contribute to CHC. She has served as Archery Club President, SGA Executive President, a resident assistant, a member of the 1650 Society, a Spanish tutor, an admissions ambassador, and has been deeply immersed in all aspects of campus ministry. She's also a member of a range of honor societies and can be seen at nearly every event on campus. Sam puts her heart and soul into all of her work, both inside and outside of the classroom. She has certainly left her mark on CHC. Congratulations. The next President's Leadership Award goes to Stephanie Bronia. Steph is a quiet leader, but has been active in the college community since she stepped onto campus. She is one of the first four-year bowlers and captains of her team, while also being the editor-in-chief of the Griffin. She has regularly achieved academic success and recognition for her schoolwork. She is a four-year representative on the Student Athlete Advisory Committee and a member of the Senior Send-Off Committee. Steph is diligent and determined. She leads by example. Steph is passionate about her activities and involvement and always puts in 100%. Steph is a great example of what it means to be a Griffin. Congratulations, Steph. The next President's Leadership Award goes to Chris Bunn. Chris is a member of the Interdisciplinary Honors Program, a member of several honor societies, and has served as an RA. As a musician for two of our ensembles and for our musicals, he very much dedicates himself to his God-given talent. Chris is also incredibly involved in campus ministry. He has attended several service trips, served as a weekly service coordinator for LaSalle Academy, attended and coordinated retreats, served as a member of the 1650 Society, and played the trumpet, drums, and shared his voice at weekly masses. Chris has invested himself deeply into the college and has truly become one of our outstanding student leaders. Congratulations, Chris. And this evening's final President's Leadership Award goes to Haley Norwillow. Haley is a tremendous role model in how to balance commitments to academics, career aspirations, athletics, and community involvement and service. She has been involved as a women's lacrosse captain, 
participated in the Emerging Leaders Series Workshop as a student ambassador, as an interdisciplinary honors program representative. She is presented three times at the SEPSHI Honors Conference, been an orientation leader, an FYI peer leader, serves on the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and is involved with the Psychology Club. Plus, she's done lots of service at her parish and with her team. Haley is, the kind, is a kind and welcoming spirit who is always ready to serve the dear neighbor. Congratulations, Haley, and please help us congratulate all students on their awards. I would now like to offer the mic to Sister Carol to congratulate our students. I just want to take a minute to congratulate everybody who has been honored this evening for your commitment and participation in the life of the college over this past year and the seniors especially for your participation over four years. I am always amazed at how beautifully you are able to balance work, studies, participation in various activities on campus, campus ministry, service to others. You truly are exemplary in all that you do. And I have to add a word and say, we've really missed you this semester. And uh, I know you've missed being here. We can't wait to welcome you back in the fall. And seniors, we can't wait to welcome you to an on-site commencement as soon as it's safe to do so. Seniors, they say that you only miss a place in proportion to the intensity in which you've been there. I have a feeling you're going to miss us and we're going to miss you very much. And to the rest of you, have a peaceful summer. Stay safe, don't take risks, be well. And if there's anything we can do for you, if there's any need that you have, please don't hesitate to be in touch with us. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Carol. And thank you to everyone for attending what Emily said before was our first, and let's be honest, hopefully last, we'd rather be in person together, <laughs> virtual award ceremony. Um, and I would just echo what Sister Carol said, that we deeply miss you on campus. Um, it is certainly not the same without you. And we are excited to see what more you all can accomplish either on our campus when we return um, or for our graduating seniors as you move on to spread the mission of the Sisters of St. Joseph and Chestnut Hill College to the broader world, which is in need of that mission. So thank you for everything you've done for us. Um, and I look forward to seeing my seniors posting lots of pictures from their virtual celebrations. So congratulations to everyone and thanks for joining us tonight. Emily, any last words? No, just thank you everyone. It's so nice to see your faces um, and I hope to see them all in person soon. Take care. Bye everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye, thank you.